Hey guys, Gabriel here. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to um, do something on the Mac. So I'm going to show you some uh, trackpad gestures and beginning with voiceover on Mac OS 10 El Capitan or 10.11. As you know, I did a video, some videos on Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion, which was just a VM. So we're going to do it now on my MacBook Air. So first of all, to start, to turn on and off voiceover, you want to hit Command F5. The Command key is um, on a laptop is on the on the on the right of the keyboard or spacebar, and then on the left of the spacebar. Let's hit Command F5 now to turn it off because mine is already on, as you can here. Quick on player. Oh, quick on. So we're gonna hit Command F5 now. Voice over off. That's off now, so let's turn it back on with the same hotkey, Command F5. Voice over on quick on player. Screen selector window. Screen selector window. Now we're gonna hit now we're gonna learn how to go to the dock. Obviously it's the same as Mountain Lion. Command or sorry, control option D. Dock, dock. Click on player, open. Another way to go to the dock Desktop. is if the trackpad commander is on, which we'll get to how to turn it on now. Um, before I show you how to go to the dock with the trackpad, hold down the VO keys, and then take your two fingers and you know the rotor on your iPhone. Characters, navigation. You know that. Hold down the VO keys to turn it off. Turn the like the rotor type thing left. Trackpad commander off. Or put two fingers on the screen on the, or on the um, trackpad and then turn twist them right to turn them on. Trackpad commander on. So now to get to the dock from the trackpad, you want to double tap two fingers at the bottom of the trackpad. Dock. Click on player. Open. You hear a sound and then it'll come to the dock. To go to the menu bar, you want to hit V O M. Menu bar. Apple. Or Again with the trackpad, this time double tap your two fingers at the top of the trackpad. Menu bar, Apple. So let's hit escape. Macintosh HD, volume. Now, another thing that's really helpful is the Apple's uh, keyboard help. So let's hit con control option K or VOK. That's what I'm going to be referring them to as the voiceover keys or the VO keys. Um, so let's hit the VOK. Starting keyboard help. Type keys to hear their names. Hold down the voiceover keys while typing to your voiceover commands. Press the escape key at the top left corner of the keyboard to stop help. Um, if it's too fast, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do a redo of the video. So now you can hit buttons. Increase volume. Decrease, vo decrease volume. Incre increase volume. Increase volume. De decrease volume. Delete. Equals. A. Caps lock. Caps lock. Right arrow. Move right. Move the voiceover cursor right. Left arrow. Option, control, right arrow, move right, move the voiceover cursor right. Option, control, space, actions, list all actions that can be performed on current item. Control, option, command, shift, space, mouse down, performs the mouse down at the current mouse location. Control, option, shift, space, click mouse, performs the mouse click at the current mouse location. Shift, space, double click mouse, performs the mouse double click at the current mouse, space, click mouse, performs the mouse click at the current mouse location. Command, click, touch, command, click, control, option, rotate counterclockwise. Option, rotate clockwise. Rotate clockwise, next rotor item, switches to the next rotor. Two finger flick right, shift, rotate clockwise, shift, right arrow, caps lock, tab, accent, option, control, right arrow, move, right arrow, next speech attribute, now end, go to end, moves the voiceover cursor, home, go to the page down, go down one page, moves page up, go up one page, moves the voiceover cursor up a page, home, go to beginning, moves the voiceover cursor to the beginning. Command, home, first item on desktop, moves the voiceover cursor to the first item on the desktop, end, last item on desktop, moves the voiceover cursor to the last page down, read next sentence, read the sentence after the page up, read previous sentence, read the sentence before the voiceover, period. Fn n fun next to the web spot moves to the next web spot n fun next to the web spot move n command n fun next to the web spot moves to the next web spot. So let's hit escape now. Escape. Starting keyboard help. Now another thing I'd like to show you is how to switch voices and stuff. And I'll go through my voices. There are two ways. One is to go through voice or utility, which I will show you after this quick way, or to use the voice or keys with the command. So I'm going to hold down Control, Option. Command and then one of the arrows. So, 
So I have com Control Alt VO Command held down. So let's hit right arrow and go through these options. Pitch 50%. Rate 60. Pitch 50%. Volume 100%. Intonation 50%. Voice Alex. Rate 65%. So. Voice Alex. Let's go to voice and let's hit down arrow. Let's go Alex. through my voices. Ava. Fred. Victoria. Vicky. Agnes. Bruce. Junior. Tony. Princess. Rose. Samantha. Tom. Samantha. That's all I have. Tony. Junior. Tony. Princess. Let's choose Princess for now. Quick time player. Oh, please. Voice Alex. Alex. That's Alex. Quick time player. Open. Line in. Quick time player. Quick time player. Finder. No, I'll show you how to get Quick to time the player. desktop. Open. I don't know if there's a. Uh, trackpad command, but let's hit VO Shift D. Desktop, nine, nine, eight, volume. So dock is VOD. Quick, quick. And desktop is VO Shift D. Desktop, nine, nine, eight, volume. Now let's show you how to change a voice via voice or utility. So I'm going to hit VO F8 or VO function F8. Oops. Opening voice over utility. Voice over utility, voice over utility, window, utility categories, table, and general, then, selected, has keyboard focus. Let's hit command three. Speech. I'll take you the speech. Voices, pronunciation, mute, category, voice, rate, pitch, volume, intonation, default. Here. Alex, default, menu check mark, Alex. And then choose a voice like. Pr princess. Princess, so let's press enter on her. Princess, best default. Default. Princess, default, 65. Hunt, princess, default, so menu nice. set, Alex. Alex, Alex that's my default, voice chop. Finder, desktop, 9 dot HD, volume. Um. Another thing and last thing I'm going to show you in this video is interacting with items. So let's go to Quick Time Player. Open so System Preferences. System Preferences. Finder. Desktop. Magnetic HD. Volume. System Preferences. You listen. Preference Toolbar. See all those interactable items. Preference like pane. Scroll area. Preference pane. Scroll area. Like you can't just Preference pane. Scroll area. Preference pane. Scroll area. What we have to do is VO Shift Down Arrow. To interact. Interact with preference pane. area. Yes, comments reader. General. They show up. To stop interacting. V O V O. Shift up. Stop interacting with preference pane. area. Pre preference. Or your t two fingers on the trackpad and swipe right. Interact with preference pane. area. Yes, comments general button. Stop interacting with preference pane. area. Last of all, to quit, press Command Q. Finder. Desktop. And to close a window, Command W, which I will demonstrate now. System preferences, Safari, safari. Finder, Desktop, Macintosh HD, Volume, Safari, Favorites, so Window, let's Toolbar. Create a new tab. New tab. New tab. A few new tabs. Now let's hit Command W. Close tab. Close all windows. And there you go. Finder, Desktop, Macintosh. So, um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Quick time. And I'll see you guys in Me the next Me one. Stop recording. Status menu. Peace.